Let me ask you something. How much is a man's life worth? Robert Miller Jr. says former Oklahoma City police chemist Joyce Gilchrist cost him a large part of his. Her botched DNA evidence putting him away for 10 years for a murder he didn't commit. And now he wants $90 million from the city to make things right. News Force Bria Berry joining us with more details on this. Bria? Well, Kevin, Robert Miller's attorney says there's more than one answer as to why this happened, but all of it has cost Miller's freedom. That's something money can't give back. Robert Miller Jr. leaving the Oklahoma County Jail in 1998. His freedom ripped from him after he was wrongfully convicted. Sort of like the world has uh, left me behind, you know. A lot of things to catch up on. And now? No amount of, of, of compensation could uh, make up for year, years on death row. His attorney says it's been a long and complicated fight. In May of 1988, Miller was convicted of raping and killing two elderly women after breaking into their homes. He spent nine years locked up and seven of those on death row. The case coming down to DNA evidence tested incorrectly by former Oklahoma City police chemist Joyce Gilchrist. And to make matters worse in this case, uh, there were people complaining to the, the police department and to the city and to other officials about the work of Joyce Gilchrist. In November of 1992, the case going back to court. That DNA evidence found at the crime scene proven not to be Miller's. Instead, belonging to this man, Ronald Lott. Bob Macy, the district attorney at the time not buying it, still believing Miller had something to do with the crimes. We felt like that he could have been innocent of the, of the rapes themselves and still have participated in the burglary and the killing. Macy alleging Miller and Lott were friends and committed the crimes together. They wanted to believe after he'd been convicted, I guess, that somehow Robert must have been involved, but he, he just wasn't. For 21 years, Miller worked to have his name cleared. And in a 2019 ruling, a judge did just that. She's been out of prison for a while, but because of um, various complications, he didn't receive a a finding that there was prima facie evidence of innocence until 2019. Miller and his attorney now seeking $90 million in damages. The city council will address Miller's lawsuit settlement tomorrow. I asked Miller's lawyer, how is Miller doing? And he told me he's doing his best to live his life.